Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to install Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft 1.6.2, and this should work for any update higher than that. Uh, just make sure that when you click on the links in the description, what you will need to do, by the way, so just look for downloads, and then under that there should be two links, and uh, one should take you here, and the other to the Minecraft Forge website. And you just want to make sure that on the Mo Creatures that uh, in these brackets it says your update so 1.6.2 and that on minecraft forge uh, if you go to select minecraft version make sure that uh, your update is selected and make sure it's there so you just want to click 1.6.2 and uh, then uh, just go back to my creatures and you want to just go down and uh, this mod is very easy to install since uh, it does most of it for you and then you just have to drag three files in the same place so it is fairly simple, and uh, some people have been asking me because uh, some people have been getting errors because they like getting mixed up because I've because I have mods and all this stuff in my dot Minecraft, so I've um, cleared that out so I now have what you should have if you have an installed mod. So basically, you want to go down to download the mod should be in red, and uh, make sure that you look for. Minecraft 1.6.2 or whatever update you're on and you want to just click on Dr. Zorg's Mo Creatures so just click that link and it should take you to AdFly and you just want to wait five seconds and uh, don't click anything down here because this isn't for the download it's just trying to get you to click it so just click on skip ad up here and should be redirecting and you just want to press download and then it should be downloading right away. So for Google Chrome, it's just down here. Uh, for Firefox, it should like just pop up. But uh, once you've done that, you just want to go back until you get to the forum again. And you want to go back down to here again. And you want to go to uh, GUI API. And you just want to click on that link. And you just want to press download and uh, press keep and now you should have two downloads and now for the last thing you need so just go back and uh, you just want to click on custom mob spawner and just click on that link and it should take you to AdFly wait five seconds again skip the ad and then press download and uh, that's not the last thing actually you need one more thing from Minecraft Forge so you can exit uh, this tab off and now you should be on Minecraft Forge and uh, when your version selected you want to go down to recommended and you just want to go across until you see installer in these brackets and you just want to click on that link should take you to AdFly again and you just want to wait five seconds skip the ad Keep. And uh, once you've downloaded all these things, uh, you can just go to show all downloads. And uh, basically, you just want to drag them all to your desktop. So if we drag that to the side, you want to get Dr. Zorg's Mo Creatures, GUI API, Custom Mob Spawner, and Microforge. And uh, sorry if there's any background noise. We're having renovations, so yeah, sorry. Uh, but you want to exit off these two tabs now and uh, basically you just want to uh, look for this Minecraft Forge thing you downloaded and you want to right click on it open with Java and uh, if it doesn't come up there you just go to choose default program okay don't do that um, go to right click on it go to properties and where it says opens with you just want to click change and go to more options and uh, just scroll down until you see Java. Uh, if it doesn't come up here still, you can just go look for another app on this PC and then you can just browse for it. But you just want to make sure it's on Java. It should be by default. And then you just want to double click on it. So double click on Minecraft Forge. And uh, right down here, you want to make sure it's uh, slash dot Minecraft. And um, if it's not for some reason, you can just, um, just uh, type that in and uh, yeah. But it should be there by default and then you want to make sure you've ticked install client and then just press ok and uh, complete it so that's basically part one uh, you've installed forge 
So now you can install the actual mod. So press OK. And then you want to open Minecraft. And uh, now if you haven't gone into your profile, uh, you should notice that there should be a forge now. And you should have latest uh, or just 1.6.2. Uh, so you want to make sure down here that you've selected forge. And uh, then just press play and then just press play again. And uh, you want to make sure you do this just to get all the files what you will need to add these three. And uh, now there should be a mods tab. So if you click on that, there should be three things here. And uh, then just press done, options, resource pack. And you just want to click here, open resource pack folder. And uh, we're not going to actually drag anything in here. This is just to get to our dot Minecraft. Uh, I find it way easier and it works for all operating systems so you just want to do that and then you just want to qu quit this uh, so just quit and uh, then you just want to look up here and you just want to highlight dot minecraft and then you just want to click there and it should take you back to your dot minecraft and you just want to go into mods and then basically um, to install the mod you just want to drag Highlight these three things, so GUI, API, custom mob, spawner, and my creatures. Just drag them into here. Uh, you should get that thing saying move to mods and just let go. And uh, if you've installed it correctly, you should have Microforge installed and then these three things in your mods folder. And uh, then basically you've done. Now you just have to add it to your Minecraft. So as you can see now, if we um, go into Forge, basically that has our mods on and this just has our normal Minecraft. So if we're going to Forge, you can actually rename that if you want. So I'm just going to rename it to my creatures. Um, oh god. Okay, um, not my, my spelling's off today, so just name it whatever and then just press save profile and uh, then you just want to go to this drop down and to play with your mod you simply just select MC and press play and then to play with your normal Minecraft you just uh, go to this drop down and go to latest so if we go to MC and press play as you can see now it says six mods loaded at the bottom and if we go to mods as you can see GUI API mic reaches and custom mob spawner and uh, that's basically it. Oh, God. And uh, that's basically it, guys. So um, I'm not going to show you everything. But um, basically, uh, if it says six mods loaded down here, and if you go to mods and these are the actual mods, then you basically installed it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or concerns or stuff I didn't go through clear enough, just comment. And uh, please click that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, see you later.